Hi everybody, it is Crafty Glamper 77. I am here with my second haul today. It's Thursday, May 2nd. I have one to upload tomorrow that I did earlier today. I don't know if I'll upload this one too. I might wait till next week at work. We'll see, but it's a little warm up here because we forgot to turn on one of our air conditioners and it got like 87 degrees today. So that part of the upstairs where my um, craft area is, is kind of a little warm. And I'm staying in here in the bedroom while it's with this air conditioner. David's downstairs watching TV, which that's where I did my other one this morning. But um, I'm up here, this is not my normal spot. But anyway, I've got exciting news. I loved opening my packages with y'all, right? Like cutting and just opening and being surprised, touchy-feely for the first time on camera. I wasn't able to do that because it was taking me so long to do that, but then look at my prices because a lot of people like the prices too. Um, and I didn't have enough storage. So, good news. I'm like so stoked, you guys. I didn't even think about it. I got this edit thing off of one of the YouTubers and I can't think of her name, so I'm not gonna say it because I don't wanna get it wrong. Um, okay, yes, I will. I think it was Shannon D. But, but I might be wrong. Um, some app that she uses, so I downloaded it on my phone, and I get a little crazy with my editing. I've got a couple of videos, but it's so stinking fun. I don't know if it's annoying people to see my edits in there um, or not, <laughs> but I have been doing that. So if it's a little too much, be nice and tell me in the comments if you like it you know either way do or don't just let me know what you think but it's a little fun there's just so many little things you can pick and put on there and express your emotions or what's going on for that particular moment in the video but i'm probably going overboard but um anyway it's one order it literally looks like they ran over my package i hate that it's even on the bed so i'm turning it my address side down. This one is just as equally nasty. It's got a cut in it and it's got a big old gaping hole in here. So hopefully everything's there. And I opened this one before I even thought about, I can like actually open these with you guys again, all new. And what, I'm gonna, what I was doing, I got sidetracked was with the editing thing that I have, I'll just, shoot the price up there and in, in one of the corners like like that top corner maybe over here I'm not sure but um and we'll see how that goes and if you guys like that also that change let me know in the comments but I had a lot of people saying oh please you know we like it when you open it and you're just you know we like to see your expression you're surprised your true I don't know how I feel at that second opening it but I always give my true comment anyway, if it's good or bad, so. But yes, I'm totally with you because I love to be surprised. If this nasty bag, don't quit falling on me. I can't turn it around because my address is on it. But yay, I'm gonna try this again and just open it with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do the one that I already opened before that thought clicked in. Um, like I said, the prices will be somewhere up there. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for jumping on here and spending some of your time with me when you could be doing something else. If you are my return viewers, thank you so much for once again jumping on here and listening to my crazy rambled, jumbled up hauls. So I enjoy it. There is talking on this channel, you guys. That's just the way I roll. It's how I am. Um, some people like it, some don't. I decided can't please everybody, so I'm just, I'm just me. What you see, I don't know how to edit to cut out and do stuff like that. I'm not that. It took me almost, what, nine, ten months just to figure out how to edit and throw pictures in here and stuff like that. But I don't know how to cut and do all those fancy schmancy things, so what you see is what you get just with some little flashed up edits, so. But thank you, and I hope you guys find something in here today that you like. So let's get on with it. Um, I've seen these forever. I got pink, I think they had other colors. 
this seems really bright, you guys, so sorry, but yeah, um, I'd have to get off the bed and go all the way down to my thing down there and turn it down, so we're just, we're just going to roll with it, but it's these. It's just the little hair things. When your hair is wet, you divide your hair, you wrap it around the strands, and it's got two of the um, bow ponytail holders, so you can tie it up down at the bottom. And then, let me see what the clip. You put this clip that it gets you, when you have this sitting and folded down across, you put the clip right there to hold it in place, then you wrap your hair around it, then you tie it together with your little ponytail holders, and voila! By morning, you're supposed to have beautiful little waves. I've seen these on TikTok and everything, and I thought, why not? I really think this is my bag. Is this my order where I had, I had like 40 some, like 47, 48, I don't even remember now, in credits. And I'm wondering if this isn't it. Plus, I think, well, we get like a six or eight hour window once you place an order, you can do like click it nows or add it to your carts or one time click or I don't know what they call it, but it, it, it hooks me in and I'll see these little deals and it shows me stuff and I'll click it and then it'll debit out of my account, but add it to this order. But it's a, it's a six to eight hour window frame. Um, but yeah, I got it in pink. It's kind of satiny. It's pretty. We'll see if it works. I'll let you know. And this is just a little thing. It's for the girls' um, playroom because they, they play kitchen, they do restaurant and all that kind of stuff that grand, grandbabies do. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to put all my things up there or in that corner or down here. Somewhere in this video, you'll have the prices. And they'll be the prices I paid, not what they are. And if you've shopped on Timu, and if you have not shopped on Timu, you know that they do change. And if you don't know, prices are subject to change at any time, up or down. Um, when you place an order, you have 30 days to check that order. I check mine multiple times a day. And if it lowers in price, price drops, you can get a um, price adjustment to your bank or to your Timu account. I have it to my Timu account. It goes in quicker, but it also helps me with my next order. So, it's this. I think it was 38 or 48 cents. It's just a little cup. So, they can, like a measuring cup for their little kitchen. But I thought it was cute and tiny, so it'd be cute for their little kitchen. So, that's for them. Did not bring a stinking trash bag. I remember my scissors, though. But I forgot the trash bag. And then... Okay, that's all. Well, I might gotta use that as a trash bag. This, I have no clue. Um, I'm not even sure what time it is. And I had like 21% on my phone when I started. I've been down there playing with the kitty and loving on Harley. Um, but now I'm letting David babysit. So I could come up here and just get this done. It's funny, I was down there just getting so sleepy. And now I'm up here doing this Timu with you guys, and I'm like wide awake again. Shiny neon lipstick. Neon? What? I would not wear anything neon. Good lord, I don't even like to wear pink very much. But every time I get one of those lipsticks or something from the Dollar Tree or Timu, that it ch color changes with your lips to your acquired color. I'm always pink. I'd rather be like a, a brownish, deep burgundy kind of color, not pink. But anyway, before I destroy my box, that's the box. Mia Show, Maya Show, shiny neon. Come on, Amanda. Well, I mean, it's cute. Cute little packaging. What does it say? That's what it says. Mm, it smells very nice, very makeup y. Oh man. Ew. I was touching these dirty bags. I just touched my 
lips. That's nasty. Not smart, Amanda. Okay, look at this beautiful. It's not neon, but those are the kind of colors I wish my color changing lipsticks would do. Okay. I should have swatched it. I should have swished it. Yeah, uh huh. Y'all got that? I should have swatched it first. Okay, not a thing. Yeah, yes. Now that, I don't know if it's gonna look like that on there. This camera, this lens thing is so bright. I like that color. That's, that's, I love this color. This is definitely going on my purse. I probably need to get one or two more. I change purses um, like I change my underwear. So um, I almost need a bunch of them just to keep in my purses so I don't have to worry about forgetting it. That was a little exaggeration, but you know, I do change my purses quite frequently. So I love purses. I have a thing with purses, candles, and ink pens. I set up many a hauls ago. The ink pens just comes from um, working at a bank for 13 years. You get a little possessive over pens. Um, we'll see what's in this bag. That one I had opened. Um, this one I have not. They do package them quite good to where you have to watch how you cut them or open them, but this one's kind of loosey loo at the top. I've got some air in between the items in the bag, surprisingly. Oh, this is how I said. They divided this order with three parts and one of them completely by itself. Okay, so another thing. Okay, you guys, I do not drink beer. I hate the smell of beer. I mean, it about makes me, I don't really think of a nice word, but it almost makes me vomit, throw up literally when I smell beer, but that's just, my thing and a lot of it just comes from my childhood my past that i just can't even i can't stand the smell but i will have an occasional drink but i like the girly drinks i love the um margaritas and daiquiris and um sweet amaretto the amaretto sours um i like those kind of drinks and the bottle drinks like jack daniels i love the fruit punch there's smirnoffs i like those kind of things but I cannot, cannot do a beer. But where I was getting with that is because I love this shirt, okay? Now the Clydesdale horses, we all know what that usually advertises like on Super Bowl Sunday when they have a Clydesdale commercial. They're advertising what? Budweiser. But the horses are beautiful. And that's why I got this. And it looks Christmassy. It is Christmassy, but here it is. I uh, can't see it. Okay, making sure you guys are on the camera because I'm hiding behind it. Um, this is a nice material. It is very thick, if you can see that. It's got the fuzz. I love the inside. Arms are extremely long. What the heck size did I get this in? Like, for Rizzle. It's, like, way long. But I do love a good baggy sweatshirt t-shirt i'm all about the comfort but it does it is a christmas one it says have a very merry budweiser christmas but anywho i didn't get it for the beer i got it for the beautiful horses but i love it it's going to be a little bit baggy i probably got a large or an extra large just and i man it's so soft inside i got it for an, an extra large it's 100% polyester, you guys, but I swear, I thought it was going to have some cotton in it because can you see that? It's so nice and thick. It's not shiny and satiny feeling or anything. It's literally legit. I thought it was going to have cotton in it, y'all, and it did not. Not 1% is cotton. Love that. If I remember right, I think I paid an outrageous amount for it. You know, I really miss the days where Timu shirts were like two something, three, four dollars. And now some of them, 
I even posted on my community feed. There was a shirt, twenty some dollars for a t-shirt. I was like, what? But yeah, it seems like you average eight to eleven dollars, seven to eleven dollars around there for t-shirts anymore, which makes me sad. I do jump back and forth on Sheen because there's some things they'll have the identical stuff between the two, Timu and Sheen. Um, but Timu might be higher a little bit on something and then Sheen might be a little bit higher. So I actually, when I find something there, I jump on there and check it. So, and I'll go with the cheaper one. I bought from both. Okay, we're gonna do this big honking bag. I need a thumbnail. Um, I'm not gonna sit there and pose with my Budweiser shirt. So I don't remember what's in here. Because remember, this is the exciting part. I'm opening it with you guys new. I don't remember. I've got a couple other orders out. I did say when summer's here, I'll probably have like Dollar Tree hauls, like small ones, short, short ones. Try to do some vlogs. I've never vlogged, so I'm sure that's going to be interesting. But um, if anything, it'll be a good sideshow for you guys to watch during the day. Uh, I don't know. One size, 94% polyamide. What is that? 6% elastin. Interesting. I don't know. Okay. Well, these were some pretty little pantyhose. I don't know if you can see the little sparkles in there, but I was kind of thinking for Halloween. We go to a party with friends. And I'm up in the air about what we're doing for sure. But um, on one of the outfits I'm thinking about, this might be kind of cute. It's not that kind of a Halloween party. Um, <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll dress decent, but I just thought this would go. And I can't say what our ideas are because my daughter also watches these, my oldest daughter, Ashley. And she goes to the party. Nobody knows what anybody's gonna be until we walk up, walk in and show up at the party. That's the, like the excitement part of it, the exciting part. And it just, it's hysterical on some of the outfits. So, and it would not be as good if we knew what everybody was coming in. So I absolutely think it's a blast. But these are just little pantyhose. It was one size fits all. I'm gonna put the dirty trap, the dirty bags over there. Put the trash on the floor. Just throw it all on the floor. Oh, I loved my bra, you guys. It was that peachy pink colored one. Um, just in a couple of hauls ago, maybe my last team of order, I don't know. I went on there and got a black one. And once again, I got, I forget how they size it. There it says 80, 80E which is a double D, I believe. Did I order this wrong? I thought last time it was a 70 something. Aw, I hope I didn't order wrong. But anyway, hopefully it, it'll fit. But these brawls here, let's see if I can fold this up and do it different. I was so low on juice. I sure hope this doesn't stop on me while I'm filming. But it's a beautiful bra. It's all lace. I love how it has this thick padding right there for your shoulders. So that's nice comfort. You know, if you're a little busty on top, the puppies can weigh you down a little bit, which pulls the bra straps and you got these indentions and it's uncomfortable, sometimes painful if you don't have the right bra. Um, it is a three prong set. I think they had red, pink and black. And I think I just, oh my word. I think I just put the red one and oh my gosh, okay, well, I can't get it. The red one in my uh, another haul. But yeah, it's very pretty, very lacy, very comfortable. I wore it. It is underwire. I don't know if I said that. I get ahead of myself, guys. Um, but I'm telling you, when you go to stores, and I said on my last haul, it's like if you get, if you're busty up top, anything past a 34D, 
it's like the bras turn really ugly. They're plain, they're not as pretty. I mean, I see all these ones, I'm like, oh, please be my size, please be my size, and it's so cute. It's not my size. And then when I go to my size, it's either out, they don't have it, um, or it just doesn't go that high in that particular cute one, and I have to go over here on the wall at Kohl's and start looking at the plain, big, ugly ones that I don't like. So I love this. And you guys, this was probably under six bucks. I kid you not. And it's such a good bra. I love it. Keep it in my head. I wore a different hat. Can you guys believe it? Dog mom. I'm always wearing that um, bad hair day hat because it's like a legit statement. But it's like one of my favorite hats, honestly. And the color goes with everything. But this is a large. Feels nice and soft. Oh, I bet this is, I think, oh, these are my taint. It pays to, if you have multiple orders, it pays to go back and look and see what you have that hasn't shown up yet because I just put these in my cart and ordered them a couple of days ago, again. But if I like them, then that's, that's fine, that's awesome. These are very soft, you guys. It is nylon but it's very, very soft and it's got this beautiful lace on the shoulders, on the front, all the way around. The bottom is not like that, but it's very, very, very soft. It feels really nice. And I think I got them in a, a large, is that what I said? A large, but you get black and they're all the same. They're made the same. It's like you get your normal colors you wear all the time, except there's no cream or khaki in here. But you get your black, you get your gray, and of course, you get your white. So there's your white one. So the three colors there. And it might have been $6 and something maybe for them. I could be wrong, but I don't think it was much. This is really nice. I like them. And they're going to be a little baggy maybe around here, especially when I get to the weight that I want. I've kind of slacking off my diet for a week. Um, I've lost a good amount of weight, which makes me excited. I was down to 140. I started like at 177, 178. Um, now I'm at 142, just slacking off a week. But I think a lot of it too is salty foods. So, and I wasn't doing much of that either. And I've been eating candy, all the stuff that I haven't been eating. And it's been great. But the diet was getting old and it was either that or I know I was just gonna crash and just stop altogether. So I'm giving it a break and I'm gonna go back on it probably Monday, Sunday or Monday, probably Monday. But yeah, they'll be a little form fitting just cause I'm a little bustier at top. It'd be cute with a jean jacket over it, a flannel, anything like that. Okay. Okay. This is black. It's a large. Do they call these bandos? I don't remember, but I wanted to try one. Um, ooh, it's so soft. Oh, and it's nice. It's got this in there. Top. Okay, just hold on. Sorry, I'm up for I tell you. I might tell you wrong. I don't know. I would say that goes for the top because it'll keep it from sliding down on you, but it's pretty, it's scalloped on the top and bottom. It's a very, very nice, comfortable, let you love it against your skin kind of feel for an undergarment. Um, but yeah, it's definitely polyester. It's got pads in it, um, which are removable and they will be removed. I hate pads, I just don't like them. I can't never get them to place right. So yeah, I just thought that'd be nice to try and see how it fits. Um, so I just got one for now. There's actually like three packs. That was probably a better deal if I remember right, but I didn't know if I wanted, if I was going to like it. So I didn't want to spend that extra money, even though it was a better deal. So I just got the one to try it first. Um, if I like it, I can get the three pack and I think it had black in it, which if I like it, black is a good color to have more than one of. Oh, hallelujah. 
Well, in my other haul that I have not uploaded yet, it's for tomorrow that I'm going to be uploading. I got one of those at TJ Maxx. It's like a big pink paw pad. It's got suction cups. You put it on the tub. Put it in peanut butter, yogurt, whatever you want to to keep your dog's attention to that. Because Harley hates the whole process of a bath, but after it's done and over, she runs around the house like a wild banshee, and she's so happy and rubbing all over everything. But, excuse me, she hates the bath time. And it kills my back, because she moves to the side of the, the back of the tub to get away from me, and I have to gently talk to her and pull her back. So, this, along with that little suction cup treat holder thing, I got this. And it had very good reviews. A lot of people, I mean thousands I think was in it that had bought it. I got white, I don't know what other colors they had. I've had this in and out of my cart multiple times, but it's supposed to fit over anything. I don't know if it will or not. You know, right now I can't even tell you if my, my tub thing is square or round. Shower every time, I can tell you. Um, but, Hopefully it works. I hope it's round. I'm really crossing my fingers now. And then this has got a bunch of little holes in it. So that'll help you um, give your dog the shower. And it's got, I don't know, let me see. At least three feet, I would say. I'm not really one to size things. I can't get it all in my frame. There you go. So, yeah. And I really hope it's round. My water spout on my faucet on my tub. Shoot, I couldn't tell you. Large. Red. Um, oops. What the heck? What's this? Oh, okay. This is another little top got some nice elastic so it looks like it'll stay up good but that's just the top of it and here's the back of it which you'll fill it in some there's lace on the back it is um cutely cinched on the side not too dramatic of a cinch like real tight but it is cute this i thought too would be cute with just jeans and some shoes or a jean jacket on a nice summer night where you know you need that little jacket so yeah, that's what I smell. It almost smells like if you, have you ever, I don't buy them anymore, but I have years ago. Is it Hearts, the brand of a cat flea collar? Comes in the box. That's what that smells like. Put that down there. Kind of stunk. Um, oh yes, I've had these in and out of my cart. Aww. Bent. Well, they're really cute little earrings, you guys. They're gold and black, and then the little faux diamonds in there, so it's got gold, black, and silver. But, on. Um, here, there. I don't know if you can see it. It's bent. But, anywho, these are very, very pretty. I like the look of those. I hope you guys can see it okay. I'm really trying to block myself. This one doesn't look bad at all. Let's see, that's kind of how it should look. Very pretty. I like them. Beautiful. Yes. That's how the size on your ear that they would be. It's not bad, it's actually just right. Put those there. This is fun. I wasn't sure what was in these bags, except the one. This is an XXL. Oh, this is David's. I do not know why the guy shirts, it's all the polyester that you don't like. They don't get that was a polyester, cotton, and elastane mix. And sometimes you can get a cotton and polyester mix or something like that, a two-part one that 
is really good. I don't like usually the polyester with 5% of something else. Those are usually, usually, at least the ones I've gotten, and they feel like this. But it's this shiny stuff for the guys. I got it in a 2X because I got them an extra large in the men's, and it's like they size small. But um, it says, <laughs> I never question my wife's choices because I'm one of them. I never question my wife's choices because I am one of them. And it's like a khaki color. They might have had it black with white lettering and gray. I really can't remember. <laughs> That's Davis, and I thought that was a good one. Um, this isn't, this doesn't feel bad though. It's not a thick plastic like they just did it to me and mailed it out. It's actually very nice. I'll look, but I know it's going to be probably 100% or something. It's 100% polyester. But yeah, thought that was cute, you guys. Okay, so women, your hubby needs a shirt like that. Just to remind them sometimes. Um, what's this? Oh. This is more like the costume jewelry thing. like a big fancy belt thing that is extremely too big. I'm almost thinking about putting it in my Jeep. I might be able to, yeah, because you can make this any size so don't hang down real long. But I thought it also, it would catch the light, the sun really good and shiny. Make it those real pretty colors. What do you call those crystals that people hang on there? mirrors to do that all those different lights it's so pretty i can see it excuse me i'm tired you guys i apologize but um can't think of it but yeah it's pretty i thought that would be pretty on the jeep to hang down in the window catch the pretty sunshine so there's that um just a reminder, I say it on most of my hauls anymore. I don't even, I do at least try one time to share my link to my order. Once in a blue moon, it will work and it'll list everything where you just click on it and it takes you. But anymore, it just gives you the timu.com and it'll take you to the timu page app, whatever. And it doesn't tell you the items that I got. So if there was anything in here that you saw that you liked, please leave a comment and um, I'll get back with you guys in the comment with the link. I am behind you guys. The kitten, I'll be honest, <laughs> I've been really sidetracked with the kitten and enjoying just loving and playing with him and trying to get him and Harley used to each other. So my last two or three videos, I haven't even got to read many comments at all. So I've got my work cut out for me over the weekend. Um, but yeah, so I do apologize if you've left a comment. Sorry. And I haven't commented yet. Um, I will either heart it to let you know I did read it and I loved it. So it'll leave you a little heart. Um, sometimes I comment. It kind of depends on the time that I have or, you know, just what I have to say back to it. If it triggers, you know, something for me to, you know what I'm saying? But I always at least leave a heart when I've read it for sure. That way people know. So it's just hearting and thanking you so much for leaving the comment. This is an extra large. Oh, I did a haul maybe a month ago that I went to Kohl's. These are a little different. That's what I wasn't sure and I got it. I got some cute little bralettes and I love them. I actually... Oh, yeah, I do. I have that pink, the rosy mauve one on again that I just love. And I got black and white, I think. Um, but I paid $21 or so. I can't even remember now, but they were on sale. And they're so stinking rude, but it's like you can't stop them. Oh my gosh. Um, I got black. This one feels a little tighter underneath. Like, it doesn't have underwire, but 
the tightness is there that you need to hold you up. I'm not sure. This one is going to quite have that support. It feels really stretchy and more loose. But if anything and it fits, I will definitely wear it to like bed or a t-shirt or something over it just to be comfortable. But because it will be, it'll be loose and not tight like my bra. You know, it just feels really nice to breathe up there sometimes. You know what I mean? But that's pretty. And I think I said extra large. Is that the right bag? I believe so. Okay. Oh, these are for my wigs. Um, I did do my first wig haul. I actually had somebody reach out to me, I think, in it, wanting me to do a wig thing for them. It's, it's unstoppable, you guys. I am not bored with you guys at all. It's just... I don't know, it's probably close to 10.30ish. It was close to 10.30 when I came upstairs, so it might be closer to 11 now. But um, I did in my first wig haul, and it wasn't a wig haul. I bought a wig in my Timu haul, and I wore it. So, yeah, I haven't wore it since, but thank you so much. All your comments were so kind. They really, really were. Um, so that was really nice. Thank you guys. Sometimes, you know, you read these comments, you just might not be in the right mood or having the best of a day. And then you go and read some of these comments and it's like, thank you so much. You know, I needed that. You had no idea, you know, what kind of day I was having or anything. And it just like picked up my mood. It, it just lifted me a little bit. And those, that is, I'm truly grateful for that. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. And that has happened more than once. Just might be having that crappy day during my break at work. I just might read a few comments and, you know, go back from break and feel a little bit better. So, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Um, these are for, I don't know what the heck these are. This is supposed to be, there are so many different things for the wigs. And I'm not a wig expert at all. But someone did reach out to me when I clicked on their thing. They don't have very many followers. For it to be a wig company so i'm not quite sure i'm going to do that i did click on the pictures and see other people that's done them and their wigs look really pretty and i can't remember the name for the life of me i can't remember it i'll have to go back to that video that's another one that i haven't read comments that maybe just a couple but starting from there to current i've got to get on there and read everybody's comments but anyway it's really tight Guess you're supposed to put on your head it's like a rubbery thing it's got these little things on there ew looks kind of gross but it feels kind of cool um and it helps your wig to not slide around i don't know i'll just have to read again and these came in little ziploc bags and there was four of them and if i remember right you could pick different colors and i think it's do you put this on? I'll have to go back and read. I don't know if you put this on and then this cap, or the cap and then that. I really don't remember. It legitly, it looks like a foot stocking or a half a foot stocking. It is just like pantyhose, you guys. What? That little thing fit on your head? Oh my God. Like a suction cup. This is squeeze your brain. I mean, this doesn't have much give either. It's like, once you get it on, goodness. Well, I won't knock it till I try it, but I will try it. I will. I bought another wig and I showed it one of my hauls, but I haven't tried it on yet. And I did get four of those little um, pantyhose caps, those little nylon cap. This is an extra, extra large. So this is David's. <laughs> they even have the t-shirt to match it, but he likes to sleep in just shorts sometimes, you know, especially in the summer. I got them in black. They, they are drawstring. They are polyester, but they feel really nice. The waistband is nice and stretchy and it's thick. And these are, an, I can see literally the camera ring. I don't know if you guys can see my hand through it, but this way I can definitely see. So 
so they're gonna be nice, thin, and cool. He would never wear these out anywhere. David will not wear shorts anywhere. He wears pants all summer long. I don't know how he does it. I just, whew. and he's hot. I mean, he's hot, but he won't wear shorts anywhere but here. Even when he mows, he, he wears his jeans, even working outside. It's just inside he'll wear some shorts. But extra large polyester. This is why I got them for what they said. Just another sexy ass bald guy. That's what it says. And can you see it? Yeah. Has it on the left leg. Thought that was cute. It's got these little jaw strings, which is cute. And I don't know what the purpose of the little X is, but I don't know. Kind of just gives it another little bling. Oh, guys don't call it bling. Just adds to it a little bit. How's that? I won't try to find a fancy word because I'm not a person with fancy words. But, oh, and I love these brushes. I use these for my eyebrows. Um, what do I call them? Not tools, are they? Well, they just call them sticks in a bag. There's 50 of them. You can get different colors. This was one of the cheaper colors, believe it or not. Purple, black, green, blue, yellow, every color you can think of. But I've already bought these once and I love them. And sometimes when I do my mascara and it's too thick and if you just keep putting it on, it just gets thicker and clumpier. I'll take one of these and I'll go through there with it and it actually kind of thins it out and gets some of that mascara off. But they're pretty at the ends. They're Kind of sparkle if you can see that little sparkle sticks plastic they work really nice though you guys i got two more little things i think well not so little but and i hope everything came this right here i got another one of those lamps the candle warmer lamps i have it in my on my kitchen counter downstairs no, I don't. I started there with it and I put it in my windowsill in the kitchen. I love that thing. There's like a bug flying around and I thought I heard it. Look at those nasty stink bugs. Okay, well, as long as it doesn't land on me. Um, but anyway, I, I really love it and I have it downstairs. I won one for up here and um, I got another one. And they're all different. It does have, this is the box that came in. I mean, of course it was a little banged it up, but there's the box. You do have your instructions. It should come with two bulbs and you got the power button. There's an upper, a plus button and a minus button. So plus makes the dim brighter or the light brighter. Minus makes it dim. And then the other one is your timer. It goes two, four, and eight. I don't know why it skips six. Two, four, and eight on your hours. So, um, this is a nice styrofoam. This is like a squishy nice styrofoam. It's not that awful sounding stuff. Um, my other one that I did when I got it, one of my bulbs was shattered and broke, but I'm not hearing anything with these. So this is a good sign because I could already hear it in the one before I opened it. Um, yeah, looks like an old time light you would see on a bicycle back in the day or something. It's flat, looks like that. Has the prongs right here that'll just go right into your lamp. Here, I'm gonna put these back so nothing happens. Ish. Yeah, it does have another one. I was going to say, it should have two. Uh, my other one is just, I think it's black. And it has a really pretty glass top to it. It's like a light brownish, goldish, yellowish color. Well, that was a lot of, I don't know how to describe the color. Um, it had a little design on the glass part of it. It's so pretty. Well, this one's a little different. Actually, the top is this color. Here is the other bulb. So you did get two. Well, it was one in each box. Styrofoam part. Um, I paid two dollars more, I think, for this one than I did the other one. But you guys, I have—I won't tell you. I got something awesome. 
for like, it was ended up being four dollars and something. I don't know if it was a spin the wheel or just a special thing they, excuse me, I'm sorry, special thing they gave me that day. But, um, yeah, a really good deal. And I'm waiting for that one to come in. I love this, you guys. It's a real pretty wood. And then here's that color that I could not describe to you. So it looks goldish and light brown. I don't really know, but I think it's beautiful. And they have, oh, it does, it swivels, which you're going to want it right here. It holds their, um, the size of candles, the bath and body work candles, that size of a candle sits perfectly because it does have a little groove etched in there. So if you get one that's too big, it might, you know, just not sit as good. I don't know. I haven't really tried too big of a one. Obviously, a smaller one can go in. You get a nice size long cord, which it's all kinked up, but I'd probably say it's a four foot cord, something like that. It does pull off the safety thing here. Ouch, don't look at the teeth bother you. It's just your regular outlet prong, but it's beautiful. This is, it's plastic. Something sounded metal. This part sounds metal. This part sounded plastic, the rest of it. So, but it is, it's beautiful. And you literally just stick that. It's got the grooves in there, little holes, and you stick that light bulb in there, and it'll catch. And it just works perfect. The smell that comes off your candle, and I've used it, and I've had, got to smell my candles a lot of times, a lot of evenings and it hasn't melted my candle down any. It'll melt it at top, maybe just a little bit of it, but you're not losing any of your candle because you're not burning it down like you are normally. So, man, I thought I heard the kitten. So this is amazing. It's like one of my favorite things I've gotten on Timu. Um, I guess I could do a thumbnail. Well, should I block the lamp? Here we go. Ugh, side profiles or, or view whatever. I'm tired. I'm not even going to go there. Don't like my sides, but anyway, can't hide that light back there. Oh, well, I'm probably not going to have a stinking good thumbnail at all. This next thing, I watched someone else for the first time watching her channel. Don't remember who she is. And she put this in her house and we have it upstairs. This whole living quarters upstairs used to be an attic till the house caught on fire and that's before me and David met. So he made it to a big bathroom with a shower. We've got a front room. I've got my craft room. We've got a big walk-in closet and this huge area here um, for the bedroom. It goes off that way. Then we've got the center here and then it goes off that way. And I love how it is because um, attics are made so cool with different pitches, you know, on your roof, the different shapes, the looks it gives you. So I actually love our bedroom up here. I really, really do. Um, it is this right here. But my thing was, and I get so sidetracked, um, this is what it was. 300M Wi-Fi repeater. Laptop Wi-Fi PC, but I'll let you see that again. Um, she said she used it. They had a large house. Our internet is down there, but you get to certain parts of the house and our signal is a little weaker. And you're supposed to be able, I don't know if you have to, LED explanation, button explanation, quick installation guide, mobile phone users, find the network name, da, 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 connect your mobile phone to the extenders network. Well, I don't know. I have to do stuff with it, and I'll read on it later. But you're supposed to be able to plug it in to your outlet somewhere else in the house. I love this stuff. ASMR is, like, so satisfying if it'll do it right. I just... Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Don't get to do that very often. But it's got this little button here. And I can't really read it. 
I don't know if your phone line has to go here. Or, I don't know how this is going to work. I probably should have read up more on it before I did it, but I'll figure it out and then I'll get with you guys. I don't know how soon that'll be, but I'll get with you on it and let you know. But it's a Wi-Fi repeater, so it's supposed to pick up off of that one and expand your Wi-Fi in other parts of the house where it's not carrying through so good and so strong. So if that works, you guys, that will be great, right? Yeah. I just saw my camera go black. I hope the whole picture didn't go black. It's just the lighting because it's dimmer back here and I think that's also one of the things that's making my light ring make me look so much brighter because it's dimmer in here. We need a ceiling fan still with lights and then we'll have better lighting up here, but that right there, I literally have it turned down. I hope that hasn't bothered everybody at being there, but I've got it turned down on dim because I can turn it on the top and it'll get real bright. But that's the only lamp we have in here. David used to have one, hence I stole it. Um, I was gonna get him another one and I haven't done it yet. But he doesn't read at night, he'll just be on his pad. Sometimes I like to read if I'm not on my laptop, so I need the lamp, it just made more sense. Um, so that's all you guys, that is my whole haul. And we're only 51 minutes in, so hey, that's not bad. Um, there's always things that as soon as I hit my stop button that I remember <laughs> once it's over and I can't go back, but um, can't think of anything right now. Besides, I'm super tired. I'm very grateful tomorrow's Friday. Um, me and David are talking about camping. It's supposed to be a couple of days next week. We might get some rain, but it's low percentage at this point, but it changes every hour. It seems like the weather does. You can't keep up with it. But um, we're talking about camping next week, so that'll be fun. I hope we get to go, and it'd be cool if I got a haul in, or my bag, so I could do a haul at the camper. I've got one or two videos where I've done that last last year. Um, maybe I'll even try my first vlog. Um, we'll see how I feel about that. Sometimes it's I have to psych myself up, you know, to get myself ready for it, but and sometimes that doesn't work either. But um, we'll see. Don't know if we're camping yet. Depends on his work too, so. All right, guys. Tomorrow, like I said, it's Friday, May 3rd. Um, school's out the 24th, yay. Um, if you have to work this weekend, I hope you have a great work weekend. I mean, it stinks to work on the weekend, but I hope it's a good, good weekend for you. If you don't, you have a lovely weekend, and I hope you guys have great weather wherever you're at. And thank you so much. I keep looking away from you guys because this, I'm going to start squinting like I need sunglasses because this light. Um, all right. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are awesome. And I'm still stoked that I reached over that 6,000 subscriber mark. Thank you guys. I couldn't do it without you. Totally. I mean, you are, you are the reason I do this. I have fun doing it. I love reading people's comments. You know, you don't know the people personally, but through comments and when people are regulars, you start to have this sense like, you know, you, you know them a little bit. You've made a little friend. It's, it's nice. This little YouTube world is kind of fun. It's not kind of fun. It is fun. I totally enjoy it. Um, all right. Jibber Jabber is going to say good night, y'all, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.